I mean, there was a big doorstopper book uh, produced by the predecessor organization of, of Vote Leave, Business for Britain, um, explaining what would be the necessary changes if we were going to stay. And that would have been the perfect blueprint for what to do if we were going to go. But I'll tell you the problem. Vote Leave didn't then form the government. Right? The, the almost universal assumption the day after the referendum is that the new prime minister would have to be someone who had been on the winning side, because right. this was going to obviously consume the government for the next couple of years. You may remember there was this rather weird thing where all the candidates basically disemboweled themselves until only Theresa May was left standing. So she then came in as someone who had voted Remain. And how she defined leave was very different from if a leaver had done it, uh, both ways round. So she, she was unable to make concessions because she had something to prove. So in the early days, she used some very, very harsh language about uh, people who voted Remain, saying they were citizens of nowhere and so on, which, you know, which, a, which a Lever wouldn't have needed to do. A, a Lever would have said, look, we've all got to come together. It was a narrow result. We've got to try and carry both sides with us. But she really defined Brexit just as coming out with something called Brexit. Mm -hmm. And, of course, the other side sensed that immediately and conducted their negotiations accordingly. To the sort of analogous to where we are with the wall in the States now, we're at the point where anything that can be called a wall will count as a wall. Yes, right? very, very good. Uh, and, and actually, it's, it's interesting that you pick the wall because to the extent that there was any policy consistency in Theresa May's view of it, the whole thing for her was about restricting immigration. Right. Now, here's a, here's a rule of thumb, Jonah, what, what we might pretentiously call a heuristic, right? If any Brit tells you that the Brexit vote was all about immigration, I guarantee that you are talking to somebody who voted Remain. I mm -hmm. guarantee it, right? Leavers know that the real issue for most of us was sovereignty, democracy, taking decisions more closely to the people that they affect. But for Theresa May, it was all about migration. And, mm -hmm. and th the proof that she was wrong about that, if you like, is how badly her plan went down with Leavers. Because what she came up with was basically a model that would have restricted migration but kept everything else in place. And, of course, that was not what people voted yeah. for.